let us uh, solve one problem based on which of rules first note down this using which of rules using which of rules in the given circuit determine determine first one the voltage drop across the unknown resistor r unknown resistor r second one the current i in the arm ef the current in the arm ef and you take down this network we have 3 volt in series with one resistor to ohm we have another 4 volt in series with another 2 ohm this is 4 volt and then we have another r and this is the arm ef the sum is named as ab and the sum as cd this the current through arm ab is given that is 0.5 amps the current through arm ef is i2 and the current through the arm cd is unknown uh sorry uh, this current is yes this current is not given but only this is the direction now we need to find out here the current i2 and also voltage across arm cd that is voltage drop across the unknown resistor r let us consider the voltage across unknown resistor r as vr let the voltage drop across unknown resistor r s equal to vr now in this circuit to apply kvl we need to consider the closed loops so let us see how many loop loops are available in the circuit there are three loops closed loop one is a e f b a a e f b a the second loop is e c d f e e c d f e and the third one is the outermost loop that is a c d b a a c d b a then junctions if i take we have one junction here another junction here now we can consider any one of these loops now 
say uh, you are considering e c d f e loop that is e c d f e loop when i consider this loop the current i2 is unknown and vr is also and the voltage drop here is also unknown so we have two unknowns you try to consider a loop wherein you have only one unknown no problem if you can uh, have two unknowns you have to write another equation so that if you have two unknown you have to get two equations two unknowns two equations you can solve but in this case it is possible to consider a loop wherein we have only one unknown for example if you consider the loop a e f b a and if you apply kvl we have only unknown one unknown that is i2 so we can easily find out i2 that is what we need the current in the arm ef that is i2 therefore you consider the loop a e f b a next to write consider the loop consider the loop close loop a e f b a and apply kvl to this loop kvl okay just voltage law so you start from this 3 volt we will go in the anti clockwise direction that is b a e f b a so 3 volt 3 volt we are tracing it from minus to plus so that can be considered as plus 3 apply proper sign convention and for all sign convention you can refer the previous class discussion where we have discussed about the sign convention 3 and then when you come here we have 4 volt and this is side is plus minus so we are going in this direction that is plus to minus when we go from plus to minus we take it as negative therefore this becomes minus 4 now comes 2 ohm in this 2 ohm the current is i2 and we are going from e to f in this direction but the current is in the opposite direction when this is the case we take that as plus 2 into i2 2 into i2 because we are going in a direction opposite to the current direction and then comes another 2 ohm the current through this 2 ohm is 0.5 amps and it flows in this direction and we also write the equation along the direction of the current and hence this becomes minus minus 2 into 0.5 equal to 0 now in this equation the current i2 is unknown solve this equation for i2 3 minus 4 is becomes minus 1 plus 2 i2 minus 2 into 0.5 that is 1 or 2 i2 equal to 2 or from this i2 is 1 ampere current in the arm EFS 1 ampere um, EF is 1 ampere current in the arm EF that is 1 ampere Next is to find out the voltage drop across CD. 
that means unknown resistor R that we have assumed as VR. So write a KVL equation which has this VR as one of the unknown quantity. We can take either loop E C D F E that is this or we can take another loop which has the outermost loop A C D B A. Any one loop you can consider and write KVL. So for the second part I will write here consider consider loop E C D F E E C D E F E apply KVL apply KVL what do we get we have 4 volt and we are going in this direction so that becomes plus 4 plus 4 and then comes when you come here it comes R for R the current is given current is C to D current flows from C to D so this side is plus and this side is minus and when we go along the direction of the current we take it as minus therefore it is minus VR then we come here we have a 2 ohm and again the current is I2 which is from E to F to E and so we are going along the direction of the current and hence again it is minus minus 2 I2 equal to 0 now substitute value of I2 we have already found it as 1 amps therefore 4 minus VR minus 2 into 1 equal to 0 or VR as VR as VR is 4 minus 2 that is 2 volt therefore voltage across unknown resistor R is 2 volt voltage across the unknown resistor R is 2 volt voltage across the unknown resistor R is 2 volt the same voltage you can also find by considering the outermost loop this loop so if you are uh, I'll just show you how that can be done if you are considering the loop A C D B A consider loop A C D B A wherein we have 3 volt and we are going along the direction of the current only so we are going in this direction so it is plus 3 and then we have this as when we come here we are going along the direction of the current therefore it is minus VR and come here we have 2 ohm 2 into 0.5 that is again minus 2 into 0.5 equal to 0 this is 3 minus VR minus 1 equal to 0 
so v r equal to 2 volt from this uh, you can consider any of the loop uh, from this it is proved that you know uh, whatever the loop whichever the loop you consider the final answer you will get the same you can consider whichever loop you feel as convenient but the final answer will be the same